What did this woman say to you? Speak! Lover told me she knocked on your door and you didn't open. She asked me to try. And as soon as I made the move, the queen asked me never to come here again. I was confused because I didn't know where that attitude came from. Yes, I said that. And it stands. What stands? What gives you the right to claim ownership in this palace? You must be very stupid to ask me such question. She knows it's obviously not meant for me. Rather, for your late mother, who left this palace a whack. Hi! You dare to disrespect the memory of my mother. Who do you think you are? You are a little fry compared to my mother. Let me warn you. I am no longer that little teenager that you bullied around this palace when my father foolishly married you in here and you were acting a mess and no one cautioned you. Let me tell you, I am the crown prince of this kingdom and as long as that crown remains on my head, my woman, Ijoma, would come here whenever she chooses and no one would stop her. Be careful, madam. What was that? No, come on. What was that drama? Why did you stop him? Why? You would have allowed him to hit me. Oh, really? Charles, you've grown wings. Try it. Don't try it. And watch your soul rot in hellfire. Are you challenging me? Listen. My husband owns this palace. So, I decide who comes in or goes out of this palace. Lecture your woman. If she doesn't want to see worse things, trust me, you know exactly what I can do. No, I do not. But I tell you this your doomsday is near. You are not no more joker. no man, they you were not no more joker. Mom, I don't like this. Mom, I don't like this. You oh, have to put shut up! This. Shut up! Get out. Mom, you have to stop it. You have to stop. Like this. The palace is on fire. Okay. What are we fighting for? I don't trust it. Everybody's right. And you couldn't wake me up. What is it? Where is that chas? He should be in his room, father. My king. If I don't have right as the queen and the wife of the king in this palace, I really need to know. I can no longer sit and watch Charles insult me on daily basis. He does not have a single regard for oh, me. Hold yourself, woman. with you to stop challenging your stepmother if there is any misgivings from her report her to me why are you doing this why father 
call that woman to other elves, I will be forced to clip her wings. She is not my mother. My mother came into this palace before her. You are my father. Tell me, how many times have you embarrassed Ijama? How many times have you humiliated her? Not even once. What gives her the right? What gives her the right, father, to talk to my woman like that? That woman is not just my wife, but the queen of her woman. She deserves every respect from you. Besides, she is a mere woman, a woman. I have told you, you must tolerate and accommodate certain actions of theirs for you to grow as a man. I have told you that. Are you objectively trying to resolve this issue? Are you trying to be politically correct? I don't understand. What is going on? My son, I know you are saddened by the attitude she gave you when you were little. And that is the reason you are reacting this way. But son, it's not right. It's not. Love it. It's your sister. She's so fond of you. You love her so well. Tell me, how would she feel when she sees you? Embarrassing her mother in the way you do. How do you think I feel watching your wife embarrass my woman? You talk about respect. You say that I should show her love. I am hurting, father. I just lost my mother. Not even a word of condolence from your wife. Father, tell that woman to stay away from me. She is pushing me to the wall. Nobody is pushing you to the wall. Son, all I want is peace. Peace within both of you. That's all I want. Son, be a man. Talk to your wife. I know that you have been trying to reach me. I'm just a big mess right now. I'm sorry you haven't been able to see me until now. I'm sorry. Oh, of course, you know I was going to call you, right? But it's just me dealing with a whole lot all at once. Oh. My mother died unexpectedly. We couldn't keep her blood pressure down and her sugar rose and we lost her. I guess we slept and my mother died. I know I'm here uh, trying to see how I can give my mother a befitting burial here in the palace. And then I have my stepmother to contend with. And then you show up to me and this happens. It's, it's just me dealing with so much. And sometimes it's just overwhelming. Huh. It's okay. I know how painful it is. And that was why I kept calling. Babe, all you need to do now is to make sure the morticians take very good care of your mother's body and plan the funeral. How am I going to do that? My brother Opina has abducted her mother's body. What? Immediately her mother died, he, he ran down there, settled the bill, and I moved her body to a different mortuary. I've been talking to him. 
have been, have done everything, you know, to make him understand that he has to at least tell me where my mother's body is. She must be buried in the royal cemetery. That is how it should be. Are you joking? I am serious. As I sit here with you, I do not know where my mother's body is. I don't know. B, please, just calm down. Just know that you have a lot to battle with. Especially that's your father's wife. She's a handful. She's the issue here. You know that woman dealt with me, huh? <laughs> you know, I remember one time I... I came back to the palace. I, I was much younger, you know. And then she slapped me. Do you want to know why? Because I had sneaked out to go and see my mother where she was staying. You know, she just... You know, Lola thinks that this whole territory belongs to her. I don't know if my father gave her that impression. But she won't see me coming and I'm going to deal with her. No, babe. There is always a time to forgive. No, baby. There is a time to call a spade. A spade. You have to let go and live your life. Forget about it. Oh, that woman is like a bone in my throat. She has to go. I don't know why people forget that a child must one day grow up. Just forget it. Why has she been so mean to me? What's her problem? Calm down. Why would she talk to you like that? Why would she embarrass you that way? It's okay. She knows how much I love you and that's why she did it. Because she's trying to get at me. That's why. Hey, please calm down. Don't do this. It's okay. Okay? I just want to bury my mother. Give her a befitting burial. Make sure that I get a good spot at the Royal Cemetery where she would be buried. Are you sure your father is going to agree to that? He doesn't have a choice. I am the crown prince of this kingdom. I am his son. I am his blood. I am his first seed. And that's my mother, the woman who gave birth to me. I know that they are separated. But do you know that my father has forgotten that he did not take back the bride price after separation? So technically, my mother is still married to him. But right now, He's not thinking right because of Lolo. But it's my job to get his head where it should be. I know. I will bury my mother here, right here in the palace. I know, but you still need to speak with your father. I hope he listens. He will. Because I'm not going to change my mind. He'll listen. Come here, I've missed you. Missed you.
Tio Nyema. You have been my traditional prime minister for over 30 something years. I've been on this city. You are a great asset to Mona Kingdom. Thank you. I have equally drunk copiously from your cup of wealth of experience. I am ever so grateful to you. Likewise, it's your way, Lim, and it's you, Zoka. But suffice it to say that something is bothering me, something is eating me up that I feel like busting out. May the gods forbid, my king. Um, you see, the difference between animal and us human beings is that human beings, we have uh, the ability to vocally share our problems and then get instant answers. That is not so with animals. Perhaps that explains the reason they always rub their back on, against a tree whenever something itches any part of their body. But where we are human beings, we beg on our fellow and tell them to scratch us if it is in the back. Scratch my back. My king, from the way you have been speaking, it is obvious that something is itching you and you need fellow human beings to scratch you. So let me ask, what is it that bothers my king? It's my son, Prince Charles. He has literally turned this palace into a war zone. One day, one trouble. He disagrees with me in every decision I take in this palace. And it is bothering me. Let us go into the exact bone of contention. We are here to commiserate with your royal family. On the death of your late wife, Queen Elizabeth. It's not about Elizabeth or whatever. Thank you for coming to commiserate with me. You all know that Elizabeth was no longer my wife. For over 30 something years, we've not been living as husband and wife. So it has nothing to do with Elizabeth. Just aside, Charles has turned this place into a hellfire. He has made life unbearable for me. He has been so troublesome that I had to see my doctor over my blood pressure. Can you imagine that? My blood pressure was so high because of Charles. Charles has been having issues with my wife. He no longer listens to me. And I ask, is that how he is going to rule this kingdom, when I might have joined my ancestors. Your Majesty, I was under the impression that this matter, this particular issue, had been dealt with a long time ago. In fact, by now it should be dead and buried. Why is it all of a sudden coming up again? What happened? The whole thing started soon after his mother's death was announced. Just became an irritant. He became a rebel. Attacking my wife here and there. Please, 
I want you people to talk to him. Talk to him. It's your name. He is so close to you. Talk to him. Once again, your highness, I say, may the gods forbid. But let me make this observation here. Prince Charles is no more a boy. I mean, a son who will go overseas to study and come back like he did. It's not every son that can go to overseas to study and then come back like he did. Of course, I have constantly been on the phone with him, advising him on the importance of returning back as the crown prince to our land. So, Your Highness, we will talk to him. And then we hope he will listen to us. I also want to remind you that a child you remove his teeth will never forget how that teeth was removed. Yeah. And that is exactly what is happening here. Uh, we advise you to talk to your wife. Tell her to call the prince and tender an apology. At least that will go a long way. I know why I am saying this. What apology? Jean William, what apology? Uh, Your Majesty, I've seen Charles shedding tears. And when I asked him, he said, my stepmother, my stepmother. Please, don't pretend as if you don't know what the issue is. I hate men who do my wife my wife. When the time comes for them to stand on their feet, you see them wanting. Our Prince Charles, is no longer a kid. And all the rascalities that was meted to him is still in his head. I have every belief that the only thing that can solve this problem is, I am sorry, or please forgive me. That is just that. Yes, Your Majesty. Uh huh. You see, truth is like an erect manhood. You may try, but you cannot bend it. Truth is always standing strong. Well, Limia has just hit the nail on the head. And I tell you, Your Majesty, I stand with him. Yes, I do. Thank you. Ugochi is my wife. So what you people are telling me is that if my son just misbehave, Ugochi will just cross her hand and watch him? No, 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 no. It's not right. It's... A stepmother is equally a mother. Take it to the bank or you leave it. Well, Your Highness, we have heard everything you said. I personally will talk to Prince Charles. Again, I hope he will listen to me. Oh, you better talk. Thank you. Look at you. You see you, with you are a very stupid man. It is today I know you worth nothing. Give one. And that's for you. Follow, follow. I don't have your time yet. Now listen, both of you. You better stop coming to this palace since all you do is to advise the king wrongly. And that's for that apology you seek. Eh? That apology will kill you. I know you don't have respect to be pointing at titled men. I will not respond to your causes, but I know the gods will deal with you. When you go back home, tell your wife to apologize to those kids she scolded when they did something wrong. So it's been you all the while. Wow. So you're the brain behind this arrogant behavior of the prince. 
Really? Now listen, I know you hate me, but your hatred matters nothing to me. Nothing. Uh, hold on, hold on, Ugochi. Ugochi, wait. Why did you come in there to say this before the king? Eh? Look at you. Are you a war gecko? See where you're hiding, waiting for us. Listen to me. All we did was to try the best we could to save you from embarrassment. More embarrassment from the prince. That was the best advice you could give to the king. Your advice is worthless. Mm -hmm. It does not hold any water. And now let me warn you for the last time. If you don't have any positive contribution, don't ever come to this palace again. Hmm? I will not warn you again. Huh? Old fools. What is it in No, you. Let us go. Follow the girl now. No, no. Hey. No, I'll talk to Jazz. Ah! 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 I greet you. Uh, what are your eleven Waziano? Where are these children? Please let them know that I'm here. Amaka Obinna Amaka. Oh, come, 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 come. Amaka, I've been standing here. Wonder why it took you. All that time to come out. Anyway, let me get straight to the point. Where is your brother? I gave a simple instruction. I told him to move our mother's body back to the hospital's morgue where it belongs. He is yet to do that and I need to know why. Do you expect me to answer you? After what you did to me the last time you came here? Where is your brother? Where is... Uh, okay. Charles, mm -hmm. are you ordering your slave? Hmm? I heard you came here the other day and the laid this your filthy hands, this your leprosy hands on my sister, Alan Apui. Have you lost it? My name is no. E Machapotan no. Na Machale. You want your respect. I see that you have taken alcohol this morning and you're already drunk and that is why you're talking to me like that. And so I ask you, Obina, do you not have any kind of fear in you? In other told you. Charles, afraid. Afraid of you. Give me Charles. <laughs> oh, because you're a prince. Hmm? And you raise your shoulder so high. Nobody like you. Forgetting the fact that I, Amaka, and even you are from the same womb. Right? Your father has money and sent you to read abroad. Why Mama was abandoned in this house till she died. And you want me, <laughs> Obi Nangopikili, to release Mama's corpse to you. <laughs> Charles, you are dreaming. Okay. So I see where your troubles are coming from. 
inferiority complex. You have a problem with my good life. You have a problem with the good life that my father has given to me. My father is a king. Your father is a drunk. Did our mother not tell you the truth? You should know your story by now. Come on. There is no way the king was going to accommodate all of you. Oboroke Simia, Wokem. If that is your problem, we'll deal with that later. But for now, provide my mass cops so that I can bury her the right way. Listen to me, Charles. For your information, we are not interested in your father's royalty. Yes! And let me tell you something. We will not sit down, watch you take our mother's cops to somewhere we do not know. It will not happen. Our mother instructed us that she must be buried here and there's nothing you or anybody can do about it. Oh, so you're challenging me now, huh? Huh? You can call it whatever you want, I don't care. But it is the family's decision and there's nothing you do about it like I said. Charles! Did you? Charles, Gente. You came in here. You stood before me to call your brother and sister children of a drunk. Is the king a drunk? Ichie, there is nothing I have said here that is out of context. Our mother, at least we have that in common, has a royal link. She was married to the king. She belongs to the palace. I'm her first seed. It is only fitting that she is buried at the palace cemetery. <laughs> Charles. Isisia, I have told you that earlier. Hmm? You are dreaming. Oh, because you're a prince. All the time you will raise up your shoulder. Iga Osobu, Osobu Mountain Mufa, right? Let me tell you. Hmm? I am ready for you. Forget these things you used to do every time you'll be raising shoulder. Like the former president of Uganda, Indi Amin. <laughs> Not for me. If you are ready for us to die, Mwa! Obi Namwe Bikili, Nae! Apa Dolumgi, I am ready for you. We shall see. I'll be back. Chas Balogo, Nae, but at this compound again, one ne, they call the fire call, eh? Ne, Marie Fedit and Ebony. Obina, I am back. Break the sky, I am back. But we you go? Hey, I am here. Now nah, somebody should hold me. Oh. Yeah, Obina. Now nah, somebody should hold me. Somebody should hold me. Oh, they will put I go kill somebody. Oh, they will forget it. They will put mad. Oh, I'm very afraid. My work I am going to come back here. Charles, okay, okay, for you. Okay, for you. Okay, for you. All right. Yes, the nigga don't get a knife. I draw for. Excuse me. If you want to go, I'm about to get the gate. I'm about to get the gate. We're on the mile. If you don't meet one or two, who say you? You must get my boy and keep it. We ain't got no money. Okay, okay. When she the fire, you go. You see how that woman was running her mouth? Hi. Look, she has lost every respect I had for her. And I, will, I know what to do. Hey, I will personally call the prince and advise him on how to handle her. By the time Ochi Rionu na ne, Oma na machi sumbok. Oma no name. Ka. But in the actual sense, what do you expect? Someone whose father was a Panwai Tapa. She has forgotten that I was the person who recommended her to the king, and he married her. Now she has the gods, the miserable gods, to talk to me the way she wants. Just because I told her the truth. Don't just worry. I know the prince will cage her more. He must surely cage her. When I was telling her to mind the way she was treating a young man, young boy whose mother was sent out of the palace, she wouldn't listen. Now the king is calling us for a meeting. Don't tell, just tell me. In our womti, Mohanura, Ebe Puisi, Osolu, Ete, Onan. That is it. Yeah? That is it. Uh, she has not seen anything. She has not seen anything. Oh, Fube. Oh, maybe Fufu. She that's, has not seen anything. That's what I'm telling you. She has not seen anything. In fact, let her pray to the gods that the king may have long life. 
Otherwise, if the king falls today, hey, I know Charles very well. He will drive her out of the palace overnight. I'm not here. 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 I want to go back to my house. Why close the meeting? I have to be on my own. I would have taken you to that point. Why don't you? I changed my mind. Okay, okay. Let us go. Uncle. Uncle, did you hear Charles calling us children of a drunk? Did you hear him call us that? Don't mind him. That is what his wicked father told him. But don't judge him on that. Because very soon, he will come back to his senses. See, I want to advise you to give him the receipt of the mortuary bill. Let him go to the mortuary and collect his mother's corpse. He is the first son of the king and the first son of Elizabeth as well. He has every right to demand for the body of his mother, as tradition demands. Ha! <laughs> Uncle! Uncle, after all these sufferings, Uncle, after all my mother has been through. Ha! The same person that called us children of a drunk is the same person you are asking us, Uncle, to give out our mother's body. To go and bury in that palace. A palace they chased her away shamefully. A palace they humiliated her uncle. Ha! Obina. Uncle, my mother told me that if she could not make it, let her be buried at the back of this house. That here is her father's house. Obina. Uncle, why are you telling us to go and bury oh, our mother no. in the palace? Where to Obi? Where to Obi? See, let me tell you. Nobody is denying the fact that your mother is from this house. And from all indication, she can as well be buried in this house or compound. What are you saying? Are you hearing me? We must sort out things with the prince. Don't mind his arrogance or his stupid behavior. He has forgotten how many times I've gone to the palace to warn the, 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 the second wife of the king on his behalf. Now, look at the situation. But, but that's his life. That's his life. Uncle, there's nothing anybody is sorting out with anybody. Listen, I have saved enough money for my mother's burial. Let the prince be a prince in his father's palace and allow us bury our mother. Let him allow us bury our mother peacefully. Mm -hmm. We don't need his help. And so how... Was the function? It went beautifully. That's great. Dad, I'd like to speak with you. Uh, go ahead, I'm out ears. I know we have to talk in private, Dad. There is no external person here. We are one family, so. Go ahead and talk to me. Dad, when I say private, I mean just you and I. Does your privacy require something that my wife shouldn't know? Absolutely. Uh, uh, leave us.
Uh, that. I want to click start plans. What to set plans in motion? I want to get people together to bury my mother, Queen Elizabeth, and I thought that it's only proper that I let you know. Charles. Dad. So, this is the privacy you are talking about. Yes, Dad. That you asked my wife to leave? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I am extremely disappointed. What's my business? Go ahead and bury your mother. Or do you want me to bring the roof of this palace because you want to bury your mother? Dad, how can you say it's not your business? She was your wife. She was your wife, Dad. Huh? She was your wife before she died and I'm saying that we should all come together so that we can give her a royal burial and you're saying it's not your business. Why? Oh, listen. Don't make it look like it's a big deal to bury your mother. It's your mother we are talking about. Not my mother. Go and bury her. She had other kids from her drunk boyfriend or whatever. Ume is there too. You people can come together. Bury her the much the way you want. And don't get me involved. Dad, I don't like your tone at all. We are talking about my mother here. My mother lived in this palace as a queen. She was your wife, father. She was your wife. You cannot trivialize this matter. She had issues with your mother and she left this palace. These things happen. You cannot say it's not your business. Listen, Charles. I have tolerated you enough. Don't allow me to do something that you will not like. That you are my only child and heir apparent to the throne does not mean this throne cannot be shifted to another clan. Don't dare me. Your mother was never part of this palace. The very day she left. This is not enough for you to get up and get angry, father. What have I done? But I've asked that you pay your final respect to a woman that you marry. Dad, my mother will be buried right here in the palace because she belongs here. I am her son. I am her blood. She still has ties, even in death. With royalty, we are going to do right by her. But if you're saying that it will not happen, then I'll tell you to sit back and watch me. You're wasting your tears, and you said it's nothing. Sister, no amount of tears can bring Mama back. I've not forgotten the things you told me when I lost my mother. It suited me. Put yourself together. Let's know how to do this barrier. And by the way, I saw the prince on my way coming. Was he here? Because we don't have someone to speak for us. Because we don't have someone to speak for us. 
they left mama. She fell sick and died. If only Charles had come to her aid earlier, Mama wouldn't have died. If only Charles, our mother wouldn't have died. And now she's dead. He wants to show us how powerful he is. He wants to show us that he's royalty. He wants to show us that he can do anything he wants. Okay. Let him come and take our mother's cups. Let him come and take our mother's cups. Let me see. Sister Maka, you can't be crying because of Prince Charles every day. Where was he when Mama was sick and needed medical attention? Biko, calm down. All will be well. Look at the things I bought. You asked me to get them. Eh? I bought everything from the market. Please, let's go to the kitchen and cook. Oh, my yoma. Adam, it's okay. Please. Please, it's okay. It's okay. Be cool. Hmm? Mommy, it's okay. Please. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay, let's go inside and cook. It's okay. Sister, it's okay, please. It's okay. 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 I want to know who has been feeding that boy with deceptive lies. How can a son wake up in the morning and take a decision without putting on his thinking cap? Oh no. You are aware of what transpired between me and Elizabeth, my first wife. How she was so disrespectful to my mother that saw her exit from my palace. See, does he think I will accept every of his decision? Hook, line and sinker, it is not possible. Current nonsense. Well, your majesty, I think it is only natural for him to behave the way he does. Especially now that he is still battling the loss of his mother. You see, Prince Charles being the son of the dead woman, wishes that he buries his mother very close to him. Even in this palace where hopefully he will someday become a king. That's the only thing I see there, my king. And you think it is possible in my palace? Your Majesty, let me officially come straight forward. Queen Elizabeth, your first wife, the wife of Iwe Umenka of Umona Kingdom, is dead. It is the most popular news in our community as we speak. Myself and my position as the traditional Prime Minister of Omona Kingdom, I received the news firsthand. I was merely waiting for the appropriate time when this very discussion will take place. Remember, there was a time we come here for the official condolence. Though in your wisdom, you decided to report the eccentricities of your son, which we actually waived. But I think now is the right time for us to handle this matter. Charles wants his mother buried in my palace. When he said that first, I thought it was a joke. 
But he stood his ground. How dare he? Anyway, uh, let me make my stand clear to you. Oh no. If anything happens to me, the gods forbid. Go ahead. That woman must not be brought into this palace. Uh, well, Your Majesty, uh, Prince Charles has every right to discuss issues with you as the father. And in my opinion, he should know when you are giving him the audience. Not in this case. Not in this case, Uno. He shouldn't have tabled it in the first instance. Anyway, uh, the reason I call you is to reaffirm my stand on this issue. Should I go to bed tonight and do not wake up in the morning? You will wake up. You will wake up. That woman, that woman's corpse must not be brought into this palace. I, I don't know if I made myself clear to you. Uh, absolutely. He went on no more joker. On no man ne shoo ya no dia. He went on no more joker. Obina! Obina! Why is Obina? Why is Obina? He's sleeping. Okay, please. Why is Obina? Obina! Why is Obina? You are standing there. Come on, move! Why is Obina? Where is your brother? Okay. Out! Today! Today you are going to provide my mother's corpse. Today! Right here! I have given you enough time. I have taken enough nonsense from you. Today! Today! Charles, you again. What is the matter with you? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Eh? Anytime you open it like you just bounce in here and be displaying all manner of nonsense here. Until you provide my mother's cops. Charles, leave this place. Mm -hmm. More, I leave this place. Charles, turn and go away. Mm -hmm. Charles, turn and go away. Charles, leave this place. More, I leave this place. Charles, turn and go away. Oh, get down. Get down, motherfucker. Charles, I'm Ne Koku, Ne Koku. Oh, so now you're calm. You know, Kuzi Konya will eyes water and your queer. Let us talk, yeah? Oh, now you want to talk? Charles, let us talk. We are brothers. You must really think that I'm joking with you. Welcome. Today, I want you to move my mother's body from where you hid it and take it back to the hospital's morgue. Am I very clear? I am going to blow your head off. I'm talking and you pushed me. Brother Charles, please, don't kill my brother, please. J just give us some time. We'll tell you where our mother corpse is. Please, I beg you, please. If I hear my name one more time, I will blow your head off. The only reason I have not put a bullet in your head is because you are my mother's son. Who do you think you are? Obina, don't make your blood hang on my neck. The next time I come here, tell your brother to return my mother's body to the hospital morgue. Here by game. If I have to come back here again because of this matter. Oh, 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 oh,
Everybody's running out that scatter. What are they fighting for? Yes, you know I'm the supernova. I would have killed somebody. Yes, yes. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. I'm expecting you to hold him. I'll hold him from the ground. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. Will you just shut up? Shut up! You were just here begging him now. You want to kill somebody. He's with a gun. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you now. Let somebody hold me. Let somebody hold me. Because I'm going to kill you. Let somebody hold me. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. I want to. Uncle. I think I'll have to go to that palace. I need to go and see the king. Because this insult and embarrassment must stop. Otherwise, I will take it to the next level. Obi na, wait to Obi. Wait to Obi oh. Does it mean that uh, 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 Charles came to this compound to foment trouble again? I am sure he was on high drugs. Uncle, if not that, he's of the same womb with us. Hmm. What I will do to Charles, eh? Yeah, me a yali Charles, me a vosa, me a vosa. I will scatter him. Papa, this is getting out of hand. Something needs to be done. He can't continue coming here to look for trouble. Ask me. You need to see me scampering for safety today, Papa. Chelo, is it a must that he will bury a woman he abandoned for years in his father's palace? Is it a tradition, one name? What is his concern on this? Ask me. My sister asked me, oh, what is his concern? I, I don't just understand Prince Charles. They said we are children of a drug. And you still want the same woman's body that you said cheated on the king to get me an, an, an Obina. Uncle, come to think of it. I've been wondering what Prince Charles wants to do with our mother's body. Eh? Because from the stories I've heard so far and the stories Papa told me, huh, nah, Prince Charles is wrong at this point too. Yes! He's wrong. Um, but I suggest we call for a round table meeting. Yes, to sort this out. Hmm. Because what I saw today, hmm, Papa, I see more trouble coming. Oh. Hmm. I am ready for that trouble. I am ready for that trouble. The king said that we are not his children. Our mother, the queen, was chased away from the palace shamefully. Uncle called the king to come and collect back his bride price. The king refused. Uncle still called the king to come and explain what his sister has done to him. He locked up. What is princess looking for, if not trouble? What is he looking for, if not trouble? Because why I'm saying this is, I will have to scatter his head. The next time he will step in here. Listen, listen. All of you should calm down. Calm down. Just calm down. I assure you that I will see someone. And after that, we will know the next step to take. Because I don't want trouble. I don't want trouble. I don't want trouble. No, Papa. If you see what our eyes saw today, you'll be shocked. Now, if a dear Gumita, something terrible happened today. If we were to go to Webia, if you see the gun he came with, hey, 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 it's not funny. It's not funny. Obina, Charles has unforgiving spirit, like his father, the wicked king. Of course, you know that, right? Amaka, I love Charles. I always see myself in him. I respect him. <laughs> but for what he's demanding for now, I will give it to him to the last. Because I can never allow my mother's body to cross that palace. Never. What he's demanding for, I will never grant it for him. <laughs> 